Hi everyone, it's Az here from Heel vs. Babyface. Now, I don't know which side of the fence you sit on when it comes to Sunday, but this is either going to cap off this video anyway. A horrendous week for Blizzard Entertainment. A meltdown week, really, for Blizzard Entertainment. Or it's going to start off a new week, complete and utterly on the wrong foot, because this just will not go away. And after Blizzard's statement a couple of days ago on Friday, basically the last thing possible on Friday before they could scurry away for the weekend, uh, that statement that they put out, I mean, I've done my video on it. I thought it was an absolute joke. Uh, I must confess that because this is such a hotbed topic uh, that when I go onto YouTube and uh, go on to my recommendations, there's literally other people discussing it, and I'm seeing very similar things, shall we say. Uh, that does seem to be the sentiment that the response just was ridiculous, full of uh, lies, misinformation, etc., etc. And on the day that Blizzard released that statement, on the Friday... This organization, Access Now, which deals with freedom of speech, net discrimination, uh, human rights, uh, and it, they've been going for 10 years now, since 2009, quite vocal. They have actually turned their attention to Blizzard Entertainment as well. And if I just scroll down, there is an article that they have here. Access Now... Uh, urges Blizzard to demonstrate its respect for human rights because this has now become a very political hotbed of an issue and reverse the penalties imposed on a Hearthstone player for expressing support for protesters in Hong Kong. Now, this is an article referencing an open letter that they sent to Bobby Kotick, which we have here. Let's just drag it across centralize it a wee bit and i'll go through it here open letter blizzard's commitment to freedom of expression dear mr cotter dear just, all right i just won't do any sarcasm at all we are writing to you in light of the recent reports of the suspension and penalization of a hearthstone player for expressing support for the protesters in hong kong we ask you to reverse the penalties and clarify Blizzard's policies and practices that affect your user's right to freedom of expression and to clarify how your policies were implemented in this incident. Now, of course, this is an open letter and Blizzard Entertainment don't in any capacity have to respond. And when you think about the fact that senators have chimed in, my God, uh, politicians from Norway uh, have sent uh, Activision Blizzard Bobby Kotick uh, letters as well, as, as well as the worldwide denouncing of what happened here. Do you think Blizzard give a shit? I mean, in as much as, do you think they feel they have to answer to anybody? No. Corporations no longer feel they have to uh, answer to, to government bodies at all. They rule the world, not politicians, not you know, not governments. No, no, it's it's corporations now that that rule the world. And it was very interesting when the Blizzard response came out that it came after forty eight hours of complete silence, where the only thing that we'd heard prior to that was we are currently evaluating our options or something along those lines very corporate very calculating and this seems to have been the response that they they came up with um and on top of that one thing that i have expressed and the reason why this is such i think a hot topic is it isn't because Blitzchung made a political statement. Because I believe if Blitzchung made a political statement about other parties, which I've mentioned, other people, other organizations, Trump, uh, Boris Johnson, whoever it may be, uh, France, Australia, I don't think we would have seen anything like this whatsoever. The issue has, has happened because it's a political 
denouncement, um, show of solidarity, support against China. And that is the, that's the hotbed. Not that it was a political, but because it was a political uh, statement against China. China. That's that's the big thing. Access Now is a global organization working to defend and extend the rights of users at risk. We promote the right to freely express oneself, a human right enshrined in international law. In the digital age, the providers and platforms that deliver access to networks, applications and services enable realization of free expression and other human rights. With this power, these companies retain a particular responsibility to respect and promote our rights. Now, when it comes to, I mean, obviously, there are horses for courses here. Because uh, everybody is fully aware and does acknowledge that Blitzchung did break the conditions of the competition. They understand that. We understand that. That's not the issue here. The issue here, again, is the penalty, the severity of the penalty, the manner in which the penalty was given, the response by the Chinese blizzard, which, of course, is through Natiz, uh, their response to it, and then, following up to that, blizzard entertainment in the US's response to it. If it did come from the US, because, you know, I'm not trying to start conspiracy theories. But as we know, when the Blizzard statement went up, it was showing the next day. When I say the next day, I mean the UK, the US, we hadn't gone through to the day that it had been printed on. So uh, that statement had been presented somewhere else around the world that's got a higher time code than us for instance china <laughs> and maybe just got the nod or the okay even if they asked jay allen Brack, the puppet the puppet the person that they place there because they can just dangle him around Blizzard is no exception. As a major online gaming and user communications platform, Blizzard has a duty to respect human rights in its organization as the UN's Office for the High Commission for Human Rights has recently reiterated in reference to its call to the Hong Kong government, it is crucial to protect the right of freedom of expression and ensure that the right of those who are expressing their views peacefully are respected and protected. Now, many of you who are watching this video will most likely know about uh, China's, uh, what's it called, social, you know, social point system, uh, where essentially you get scored by the government on how good a, a citizen you are. Uh, you abide by the rules. You do this, you do that, you keep your head down, you blah, 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 blah. You get a good score. And uh, social credit system, I think it's called. And that's terrifying. That is Orwellian in nature. And if you're not aware, uh, I think coming in next year to China, if you purchase a cellular phone, mobile phone, uh, you have to have a facial recognition taken of you prior to that. So they're going to have everything they want of you on record. They have it with the social um, credit system. They're going to have your face. So you're going to be ide easily identified through, you know, camera software, etc. It's getting really bad. It's getting worse and worse and worse. People's freedoms are going and going and going. And so the flippant people that, you that say, when he broke the rules, he deserved to get punished. I'll try and be nice here. Aren't understanding or purposely... Uh, trying to avoid the nuance of this debate. So, let's carry on. However, Blizzard's recent actions indicated inadequate policies and practices in this area, showing a lack of respect for freedom of expression. According to statements made on the Hearthstone blog, 
The, uh, the player was penalised for violating Hearthstone's comp uh, competition rules set by Blizzard. The two stream casters interviewing the player saw their contracts terminated. Hearthstone competition rules prohibit engaging in any act that, in Blizzard's sole discretion, brings the player into public disrepute. Uh, offends a portion of the group of the public or otherwise damages Blizzard's image. Such wide discretion facilitates arbit uh, arbitrary. So what I uh, said the other day, uh, these rules are so um, open to abuse. They, they, they are so flimsy. They are non-specific that Blizzard can choose whatever it wants, can do whatever it wants when it comes to some sort of expression. And uh, I think that's uh, one thing that they really want to clarify here. They want to really make um, set in stone, what are your policies? What would constitute, um, you know, making Blizzard look bad, offending a portion of the... And I think the offending the portion thing is ridiculous because let's just face it, everyone's offended nowadays the whole world's offended for goodness sake um so again it, it, they're so open for abuse these these rules that they have uh, that it can be really unfair for people participating and uh yeah facilitates arbitrary implementation uh, implementation of what appears to be intentionally vague policies as i went through by penalising a player for speaking up in support of protesters, exercising their right to freedom of expression, as well as assembly and association, Blizzard demonstrates a lack of respect for the human rights of the user. We Okay, so they're really kind of going for the jugular here with Blizzard. They're not pulling any punches, and it's, uh, it's actually very refreshing to see. In support... Let me just scroll this up a bit for you. Uh, in support of the right to freedom of expression, we urge you reverse the penalties Blizzard imposed on the player and streamcasters and to provide restitution. In addition, and in the understanding that our civil society organization and other supporters, uh, other, uh, others support your ongoing efforts to meet your corporate responsibility, we ask Blizzard's to clarify, oh, sorry, we ask you to clarify Blizzard's policies. And down below it says, including how Blizzard determines when and whether to exercise its discretion. Please answer these questions. So not only are they going for Blizzard, they're asking Blizzard to answer these goddamn questions next. Does Blizzard commit to respect the freedom of expression of its stakeholders, including players and streamcasters? What oversight does Blizzard's leadership exercise over how the company's policies and practices impact players' freedom of expression and other human rights? Who is responsible for implement uh, implementing and enforcing the competition rules? That's a very interesting one, of course, based off the response again from the uh, Hong Kong, from the Chinese Natiz uh, Hearthstone official uh, twit twat. What procedures do Blizzard employees follow in determining whether its rules have been violated because of the vagueness of those competition rules? What channels are available to stakeholders, including players, to appeal determinations and comment on the competition rules? Are Blizzard going to answer these questions? Nah, our heck is like, they'll ignore this letter. We look forward to receiving your response and we are glad to speak with you in furtherance of your efforts to become a leader of the gaming sector in respecting human rights. Sincerely, Peter Mike, Mike. Okay, uh, so that's pretty good. So yeah, this uh, access now really going for the jugular. Uh, when it comes to, to Blizzard and clarification of the rules, uh, the vague rules. Now, what we have seen, because the this letter arrived the same day that Blizzard put out their statement, uh, what we have seen is the reinstatement of the prize money to Blitzchung as of now, but uh, there's still heavy penalties 
uh, for for non-competing and also to the casters as well. There's still six months. They they the casters at least they were fired, full stop goodbye. But now they're on a six month suspension. And Blitztron was a year, of course, brought to a six month suspension. But those in itself are ridiculous. And as I commented in my last video, uh, I believe this to be Blizzard desperately trying to. Um, in some way, appease the outcry mob and also appease China uh, to show, yes, masters are masters and overlords. Uh, we we still show uh, that we're, you know, we want them to shut up. We're trying to silence them. Uh, six months is a long time, uh, etc. So with that said, I know this video is going on a bit, but it's not quite over. We get this as well. We get this. Uh, there is a uh, a protest which is being organized for BlizzCon, a peaceful protest. Uh, Gamers for Freedom. BlizzCon 2019 will be held at the Anaheim Convention Center next month with gamers and journalists attending from around the world. BlizzCon will be the perfect opportunity for us to show Blizzard just how important our freedom is. Bring an umbrella, the symbol of freedom in Hong Kong. And join us at noon on November the 1st for an epic day of protest with hundreds of other gamers who care. And that's gamersforfreedom.com. Uh, if you go there, you can bring this up here. I'll link it in the description box down below. Uh, so they wanted to do a peaceful protest. There's a, a Discord. And they do provide some interesting information here as well. Of uh, which game company support your freedom. Uh, which may censor. Which won't censor. Uh, Epic desperately trying to do something. But look, you know. There's not many green there. And also... What they're doing as a as another effort, uh, if you are a longtime Blizzard fan and you don't think you can do without their games, they show a very nice little uh, graph here. It's not a graph of um, similar games to the games that Blizzard provide, and maybe you'll find uh, a, a new home. You know, Diablo, you got Paladins, Fate, Grim Dawn. I mean, I would say... Uh, never mind. Uh, Overwatch, you got Team Fortress, Fortnite, Destiny 2, uh, Hearthstone, Gods and Chain, Gwent, Elder Scrolls Online. I've heard very good things about Elder Scrolls Online and Gwent recently, actually. Uh, World of Warcraft, Elder Scrolls Online, Final Fantasy XIV, uh, Lord of the Rings Online. Don't. Uh, Starcraft, again. So, uh, offering, um, offering alternatives to people and then... You know, obviously, what's been discussed and what has been going on in recent times. Oh, is that the new Blizzard mount? The Tiananmen tank? Is that going on the Blizzard store? Hey, everybody. The new store mount is the Tiananmen tank. Crush freedom and unarmed students with our... Uh, so there we go. Things are happening and it's just not stopping for Blizzard. And it's going to be very interesting to see if they're going to stick to their guns as regards to this statement that they put out. Or um, they're going to have to rethink that as well. But uh, it isn't going anywhere. It isn't stopping anytime soon. This boulder is going down the hill and it's smashing through everything it can. So I hope you enjoyed the vid. If you did, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. Follow me on social media and Twitch for live streaming links. They're in the description box down below. And I'll be back with some more stuff very soon. You take care. Bye for now.